Yeah, just come and obviously change a role, but keeping what I'd started with. Yeah. Just kept that going. Yeah. So it doesn't change. Yeah. And then it's just the change of assistant Sam as much as he needs, really. Yeah, yeah. Like the link between the dressing room and the manager's key. Yeah. So I feel like I've got a good relationship with the lads. Yeah. Building that trust up during pre season and the advice I've given them, not just physically yeah. during pre season, but I'd like to think the experience I've got from my playing days is yeah. I can help them out there on the pitch. Yeah. yeah. And describe to me your strength and conditioning role, Stuart, because it's a relatively new position. Yeah, yeah, I mean, it was, like, it was, what you're doing they had a lot, there was people in last year doing it, and it was Buster because I worked Buster before. And he rang me. I was doing my, uh, I was at Hartlepool, and then I had a year of doing work, just my own business work for myself. Yeah. Um, and then it just came about, and it was an opportunity to be back in football. Yeah, I'd missed it. Yeah. I did. Uh, I made the decision to leave Hartlepool. Um, one of them situations that was is what it is. It was just yeah. not the right place to be yeah. at that time. Yeah. Um, and then the opportunity came, and it was. Had a conversation with Buster, Martin Gray, and um, I couldn't wait to be back involved in a team environment, with which I've yeah. grown up since I was a nine year old kid. Like, I've been involved with a group yeah. since then. Yeah. And then, to have a year out, I enjoyed the free time and yeah. spending some time with a, a lot of time with the family. Yeah. But comes a time, what's the long term plan of how you go forward? And football yeah. is what I know and yeah. what I love. So. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, just one of them, and then to come to the progression I've gone to now, I, did I see it happening? Maybe not. Yeah. But these are situations I'm never going to turn down an yeah. opportunity yeah. like this, and I feel like I'm ready for ready for the role. Yeah. I've developed as a man, really, yeah. working on the other side, yeah. not just as a player, yeah. working with people. But in terms of with a group, we're lucky. Yeah. I think we've got a great set of lads. That are willing to take in everything we throw at them, not just on the pitch, but me and Buster physically. How yeah. we have to—it's not just your work isn't just here. It's 24 yeah. hours a day. Yeah, yeah. That's how they have to look at it, yeah. body-wise. They have to be diet has to be right. Sleep is mm -hmm. massive. How you recover? Mm -hmm. We throw all this at them, and then obviously they're out of our hands for quite a lot of the day. Mm -hmm. But as much information we can give them to be right for a Saturday, mm -hmm. the better. Yeah. And did, did did you see yourself kind of going down the strength and conditioning route then, or, or have you always well, fancy coaching as well? Still, I've done both. Yeah. I've won at the court, obviously. Yeah. Have you got badges for both? Qualified? Yeah, so I'm going to do my badges now. Yeah. Um, I'll do I'll do my U F B. Um, probably finish that beginning of next year. Yeah. Obviously, I'd have liked to have had them have now, but yeah. as the way the path's gone, I've just ended up going down it's a certain way. Yeah. But I don't think. Sam doesn't say it is, I don't have to have badges. Yeah, I want to be qualified. Yeah. Of course I do. Yeah. And I will be. Yeah. But it obviously takes time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, so. In terms of that, it's just, I just assist Sam and yeah. if I say anything, I'll say it. Yeah. If I think that needs him, I'm not yeah. shy to yeah, yeah. say some things that I feel. Um, if he listens, he listens. If he thinks yeah. that might be Final not right. Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And um, I mean, you must have learned off a few as well. I mean, looking at your oh, CV, you've had I'm three lucky. England managers, haven't you? Of course, so I'm yeah. very lucky who I've worked with. Yeah. Like, and and my, t my dad's probably the biggest influence with yeah. what he's done at Middlesbrough. I was like, how do you go? But you have to be your own person. You take things from all the different people you've worked with yeah. and try and mould that into how you want to be, yeah. how you want to treat people. Yeah, yeah. And I think that's one of the main things for me, how I. Yeah. How I'd want to be treated, that's how I want to treat yeah. the lads. Yeah. So respect yeah. is the first thing. Yeah, yeah. As long as they respect everything that we're trying to do, I'll give them 100% of my yeah. time. Any Anything they need, extra-wise, work-wise, on and off the field, I'll give them as much as they want. Yeah, yeah. I mean, Gareth Southgate, you'll work with him, Stuart. I believe, well, that's a, he's a big role in me as a yeah. person, really, I think, because played alongside him. And he got the job yeah. as Middlesbrough manager, so he was brilliant with me as a player. Yeah. Yeah. He helped me even with contract stuff yeah. when I was a kid. Like 
rather than my dad get involved at Middlesbrough, he took on the role of speaking the PFA yeah. for me and yeah. stuff like that. And he was still playing then. Yeah. It was just he was just a good he's just a good person. Yeah. Um, but in terms of Gareth, I mean, he's doing a great job and yeah. as a role model, he was as good as you're gonna get. Yeah. Would you have seen him being this successful in terms of the England job? And you yeah, I mean, he yeah. took he took the middles of a job straight from playing. Mm. So that's a tough role, mm. and it was a, it was a hard situation for him. But you could say just the way you are with people, you've got half a chance. Yeah. And then his knowledge of football is second or none. Yeah. Yeah. So in terms of that's just a progression. Yeah. You just need that time. I'm, I'm not like. I don't expect me to be perfect in this role yeah. now, yeah. but that's my aim. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> As I get more experience, 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 I'd like to think I'm going to develop in different areas, yeah. especially the coaching side as I learn, mm -hmm. watch Sam every day, watch as many people as I can, yeah. and you just develop as yeah. you would as a journalist. Yeah, you yeah, you yeah, learn yeah. gradually, like it's yeah, not just, you don't just, I don't just, I'm not saying I'm anywhere near yeah. the finished article as a assistant but I feel like it's a good role for me. Yeah, yeah. And you work with Terry Venables and Steve McLaren as well, Stuart. What what qualities did they have in terms of to, coaches and managers? I mean Terry Venables was the ultimate organisation was just massive. Yeah. Like he came in to help Brian Robson. Yeah. And I mean to I was only a kid. Like he could put us in my first squad as yeah. seventeen year old. Yeah. So um, in terms of what they give us and Steve McLaren, I mean no matter what anyone says, he's got a way to us yeah. as, a, as a coach. Yeah, yeah. As a coach, he's brilliant and he gave me my life really. Yeah, yeah. He gave us the opportunity to play in the Premier League yeah. and trusted me as a kid. And for that, I'm, I can't say a bad word about it. Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah. And, um, look, look, going back to strength and conditioning, do, yeah. is that a big part with injury prevention now as well? Cause I, Look to your career, and the one thing that stands out is, is you did have some well, bad injuries. Well, exactly where it comes from. I think yeah. I spent a lot longer than I wanted to in a gym. Yeah. Um, but I, I have no regrets. I did everything I possibly could. I yeah. wasn't a bad professional. Just unfortunate. It was just yeah. one of them things. I did everything I could to keep myself right. Yeah. But at the end of the day, it's just part and parcel. That's yeah. why I'll never go. Oh, he's, he's injured again. He's yeah. injured again because I know the situation. Like, yeah. It's like it's tough. Yeah. And to keep having it, having it, and then to come back each time. Yeah. Beatty's the perfect example. Yeah. Matthew Beatty, middle, uh, Arlie yeah. manager now, he had five cruciates, yeah. and he was still trying to do everything. Yeah. And it's just an attitude thing yeah. of that, and if we can manage that as well, because it's a psychological part yeah. of it, yeah. you have to be a psychologist as well. Yeah. You have to, like Bust is massive on that. Yeah. Like how we deal with them when they're not around the lads yeah. is key because they have to be part of it even if they feel like they're away from it. Yeah. Um, but in terms of what we do injury prevention wise, yeah, it's yeah. a massive part. Yeah. If we can have the best 11 on the pitch on a Saturday, yeah. we've got half a chance. My last fell at Middlesbrough, I had problems with my patella. Yeah. So it was one of them where you train and it gets worse, it gets worse, it gets worse. There comes a time where you have to shut down yeah. so I was in the gym for three months yeah working alongside Andy Balls who was is at Motherwell now yeah so I've got a lot of contact with him still um, and that's where it started yeah I just started picking his brains yeah. picking his brains see like what about this what about this how do I yeah. deal with this and I was just interested yeah, yeah. in the body yeah and then I learned a lot I wish I'd known what I know now when, when I was started. 20 yeah. <laughs> yeah. What injuries did you have? I'm sure you got this. I saw a hamstring. You start there. from the top to the bottom. Yeah, cool. <laughs> <laughs> Everything. Yeah. So, what do you want? Broken nose, dislocate, uh, collarbone twice, uh, broken ribs, uh, dislocated jaw. Then two hip operations as a kid, yeah. which was about like four months. Four months. They were like labrum tears where you just you have to get the cartilage shaved and you. Yeah. Hip joint, um, hamstring bad, bad hamstring, bad quad, cruciate, uh, medial, um, anything else? <laughs> Pretty much the lot, isn't it? Or oh, broken leg, I saw a broken, I broke leg, 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 yeah. broke leg. I broke leg, 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 I just keeper came out for a, to close the ball down, yeah. head on my leg, yeah. go home for an extra, yeah. broke leg, just want to be yeah. just good. What, what can you 
do. Yeah. It's just part and parcel. And how did you learn to deal with it? Yeah. And that's, I don't have any grumbles on what happened. I would no one to blame for anything. No, no. Just one of them things. Yeah, yeah. It's helped me grow as a, and deal with whatever's thrown at you, you deal with. Yeah. Tell me about Sam as well, Stuart. What, what do you like about his qualities in terms well, of Sam, mate, I've known him management. since when, Doug, Hartley, when I first signed for Hartley Pool. He was going into transition himself yeah. to the player coach, so it's very similar. Yeah. Uh, he's worked alongside Colin Cooper, and he's obviously and he's had a, he's had a couple of opportunities at Hartley Pool where yeah. he was a caretaker, and I did the same role there for him. Yeah. I was just there. Same, my, I was doing the same, all the rehab for the lads. Yeah. And Tom needed someone, and he said, "Would you do it?" I was like, "Of course." Yeah. So that's where we started. And to see the difference now is, like I've said before, you gradually progress, you learn things, you do change. And he's changed. He'd say himself, he's changed and developed as a yeah. coach and a manager. Yeah. Um, but like I think he's said it before, it was just time when he's ready now. Yeah. He was probably he probably might have said he was ready at the time. Yeah, he was first, yeah. Yeah, but, yeah. But to be totally brutally honest, he was now's the time. Yeah. And he's shown that I think. Yeah. I mean, decision making, you have to make big decisions as a manager. Mm -hmm. like, I can have a little say, mm -hmm. but ultimately it's his head, isn't it? Yeah. In your career history, you obviously with top top players, you Hasselbanks, Janinos and all those you had a spell at the start at Halifax, didn't you? Does that help in terms of you understanding these lads at this level, the fact that you went there and it's played? It's the best level. thing yeah. that I did. Yeah. <laughs> no matter all that stuff that came after it, yeah. Would I have been doing it if I didn't have that two months at Halifax? Maybe not. Yeah. Experience to be in and around men. Yeah. Like as a kid. I was only seventeen. Yeah. But in terms of development Probably the best thing I ever did. Yeah. Yeah. Bottom of League Two. Yeah. When I went, Paul Bracewell took me. Yeah. And we had a really good run. Yeah. And then, uh, two months there, and started having a say and getting myself in the first team. Yeah, yeah. So it just shows you that, that little period of saying, right, I'll go and play at a lower level. Yeah. To develop is massive for yeah. humans, and that's what I want. That's yeah. why we. That's why we go on to watch these under yeah. twenty three games, development games. Yeah. Is the one that we could take. Same. That we see that could go yeah. that way. Yeah. Oh, can we help them to yeah. get there? Yeah. And having experienced that environment, because obviously the Premier League is a different world, isn't it? In oh. terms of the money and everything. Yeah. But you know the problems at this level that players can have. Of it? course. It's yeah. like, like I said, levels is that's all part of it. And to yeah. come and I'd like to think it's a good environment to come into. Yeah. Where what, what we're doing. Yeah. Um, and if it's we understand a certain clubs and levels that we might not get lads from. Yeah. That's fine. Yeah. But we have to look for the best of what we can get. Not just taking players because someone says they're a good player. We have to mm -hmm. go and watch yeah. and learn and see what they like and then nice. you do your research and yeah. we select a lad. Yeah. There's a lot goes in. But if we can get the right ones to come from a good level, yeah. They are already at that where they think they're ahead of this. And if we can get them, we'll be we'll do all right. Yeah, yeah. Looking back at your record, first league debut was against York, wasn't it? I was seeing the yeah. Halifax. Do you remember much about that game? I remember the smash and Steve Agnew. Really? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and he'll work he went off. Way. He went yeah. off. Really? Yeah. yeah. And I, and I work with Agnew. To be fair, we always usually always talk about that. And it's strange that that comes about. That's the first time I thought about that. To be fair. Yeah. yeah. Um, but one of my early memories of York, I did my final. My final trial for the national school. Oh, at right, yeah. yeah, English. Yeah, no, I, I obviously yeah. got through. So. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So it's good memories, really. Yeah. Who would have been in that team? Yeah. So that was that was going to the national school, which was yeah. two years away from home. Oh right. I mean, last so two years of school. Short. So Joe Cole was in my uh, yeah. The yeah, bigger that's the biggest name. Yeah. Who, uh, Danny Weber. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So we had a good group. Yeah. Um, Cole was phenomenal. One yeah, unbelievable. Yeah. 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 But all good, yeah, all good memories as a kid, really. Yeah. And just looking at York now, what would you say your hopes are? Immediate hopes, for the club. Sure. We're not sure. Yeah. Looking <laughs> <laughs> further ahead, what, what oh, would you, you like, and Sam I like mean, to achieve? You know, I think everybody that's involved in York, it's how big York is as a club. Yeah. Like there's a big fan base. Uh, moving into a new stadium, what better way than promotion? Yeah. Like there's only that is. 
I think, speak for everyone. Yeah. That has to be the aim, yeah. no less. Yeah. Like, I know it's a hard transition, but with the lads we've got here and the ones we could maybe bring in, mm -hmm. I think we have to look at that mm -hmm. level. We mm -hmm. can't think, oh, we'll be all right for another year. Yeah. It doesn't work, we can't. Yeah. We have to be ruthless and think, how how many games can we win now? Yeah. Do you still see automatic as achievable? Why not? Yeah. I mean, surely you're surely on fire. Yeah. That's just what can we like? We got we went there first day of the season, didn't we? Got beat. Yeah. We had chances the yeah. first half. We could have, could have beaten, but then they've gone on that run. Mm -hmm. If we can have a run where you win five or six mm -hmm. quickly, sure. you're right in there. Yeah. Yeah. We just got to have that consistency of performance. Mm -hmm. If we put if we performance is right, we'll win. Mm -hmm. We'll win games. Mm -hmm. That's. I don't doubt that. Yeah. It's just the ones where we don't perform so well, like non eating, mm -hmm. like Southport away, can we convert that into yeah. something positive? Yeah. Like we have. Four points out of six Four, four points games. from them too, and you Every if you watch them games back you're going Yeah. How are you best. how but four points from yeah. two bad performances? Now it's about why have we not performed? Mm -hmm. Can we get them to the levels that they've shown they can get to? Mm -hmm. And if we can, then we've got a very good chance. Yeah.